Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Normally I make videos on this channel all about my life with scoliosis, but for this video I'm trying something a little bit different. For this series I'm going to be talking you through my training to run a marathon. I've never run a marathon before but I have been running for about six years or so. I've run lots of half marathons and 10k races but never a full marathon. I was meant to do the Manchester Marathon in 2020 which unfortunately got cancelled due to the pandemic although I did do all of the training and so I did learn quite a lot through those experiences of training for the marathon which I hope that I can apply to my training this time around. I wanted to share my marathon training journey in the hope that it not only helps others but also inspires others as well. So especially if you have scoliosis I'm a firm believer that you can achieve anything that you set your mind to. It's been a goal of mine for a long time to run a marathon as it's something that I never thought I'd be able to do with scoliosis and following scoliosis surgery. I'm currently booked on to the Manchester Marathon which is in April which gives me four months to train uh, unless Covid has other plans but whatever happens I'm determined to go through the training and complete my goal of running a marathon. As I've already been through the training two years ago, I know how hard it is and how much of a toll it takes on the body. So I think for me having scoliosis, I know that it's not going to be easy, but I know that I have to be extra mindful of making sure that I do my strength training, keep myself as strong as possible to try and avoid injury. I think this is important for anybody who's training for a marathon but for me having scoliosis and having certain weaknesses already that I'm aware of, for example I know I have muscle imbalances due to my scoliosis, I do have problems with my right leg, um, I have weakness and numbness in that leg so I know, I'm aware of these issues already, it's about strengthening these areas and trying my best to keep as strong as possible to avoid injury. Although I know it's not going to be easy and I know I've got certain limitations so to speak, I'm determined to do this, I'm determined to train and it's something that I've wanted to do for a very long time and I am determined to do the best that I can. So in this section I'm going to be talking a little bit about my training plan. So I have 16 weeks until the marathon so I'll be following a 16 week training plan that will be put together by a run coach that I work with. So I've been working with a run coach for about a year or so now. Over the last year or so I've been, because I was injured last year, so I've been focusing on getting stronger physio and strength training and building up my miles again very gradually so that I'm ready to start marathon training now. So normally I run around 20 miles a week. I normally do two to three runs in the week and then a longer run at the weekend. So, so far I'm up to about an eight mile run over the weekend. So the next 16 weeks is going to be similar in the sense that I'll have several runs a week and then a longer run at the weekend. And then over time, over the 16 weeks, the longer run will gradually get longer and longer and longer over time so that I can train up to the distance that I need to be able to complete the marathon. And the sessions will also involve strength training as well, which is very important, as I said before, especially for myself. So I'll be doing several strength training sessions a week as well. So what I'm going to try to aim to do is a weekly vlog of my marathon training, the runs I've done that week, the strength training I've done that week, and how I feel what I've been eating, things like that, just to give you a bit of an overview of what it's like to train for a marathon. Why am I running this marathon? Well, the main reason is it's a personal goal of mine. It's something that I've always wanted to do 
and, all, and something that I've always thought I'd never be able to do. So to achieve it would mean a lot to me. Another reason is that I really want to help to raise awareness and raise money for the Scoliosis Association UK. So I'm running this marathon to help raise money for, for them. If you'd like to donate, I've put the link to my page in the description below. One aspect of marathon training that is crucially important and that I feel that I neglected last time is strength training. This is especially important for myself. As I mentioned, I've got several weak areas. Some of it's due to my scoliosis. Some of it's general weak areas that I need to be mindful of. So if I'm running a lot more and increasing the miles, I there is a risk of injury. So one thing that I'm doing to try to mitigate that is to focus a lot more on strength training than I did last time. So with the help of my running coach, he's putting together a personalised program for me to help me with my strength and to focus on the weaker areas as well and to complement what I'm doing with the marathon training. I feel like with my first marathon training, I didn't really know what I was doing and I learned a lot along the way and I think it's really helped me to know what to focus on this time. So even though the marathon didn't go ahead in 2020 as planned, I learned so much from the training. Working on my strength was one of the areas that I really learned from and I really realised that I needed to do. This is why this time I've actually invested in a run coach. I'm taking it seriously and I want to give myself the best shot possible. So that was it really. I just wanted to explain my challenge for next year. I will go into detail in further videos in terms of what each week looks at, looks like training wise, what I'm doing strength wise as well. Um, if you're interested in following my journey to the Manchester Marathon then please subscribe and look out for weekly training vlogs. So thanks for watching and let me know what your goals are in the comments below. Bye for now and I'll see you next time.